pristine white sails, flying the Union Jack at its stern. On the deck, Barbosa stands over a map. The lieutenant throws Gibbs down at his feet. Well, Master Gibbs, short we are a map. Perhaps you'll be so kind as to provide us an heading. Gibbs leans over another map, then turns to the lieutenant. Be a gem, or be a gulper. Hey, you be privateers, not pirates, Master Gibbs. And in the king's name, we'll behave as such. Aye, Captain. He briefly studies the map, then glances at the horizon. Be we on the proper course, Gibbs. Aye, it be proper. He points. There's your proof. Barbosa looks over his shoulder, then hobbles toward the bow. His lieutenant joins him and peers through a spyglass. The Spaniard. They spot three ships. All hands! Battle station! Get to windward! Turn up two point support! Crew and aim cannons at the Spanish galleons. So rejoins his lieutenant. Guns on the way, orders, sir. Barbosa peers through the spyglass. Aboard one of the other ships, the goatee Spaniard pays the English no attention. Sir. Orders, sir. Barbosa lowers the spyglass, then collapses it and hands it back to his lieutenant. He never so much as turned his head. The fountain is the prize. It appears we'd be not even worth the time it'd take to sink us. And now we've fallen behind. All hands, make more sails. Be quiet. Right hard between wind and tide. He spins the wheel, then overlooks the deck. Now the sails at dawn.